guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another week in my life of video it's been a while it's been a while but i am back i'm actually starting the week off on a thursday how have you guys been how are you guys if you guys are returning subscribers you guys know that i give away 100 dollars in every single one of my videos all you guys have to do is just comment like and subscribe and that is it and the winner for my last video is right over here and if you guys are returning subscribers welcome to my channel welcome to this crazy week in my life of videos welcome to this extremely just welcome <laughs> you guys i had the best morning ever i actually just dropped off a lani at her nanny's house if you guys did not watch my previous video i did confirm that i have a full custody of a lani now until further notice and to our record hearing i still don't know what's gonna happen but as of right now i do have full custody of her and i just wanted to thank you guys so much for all of your messages and just being so supportive even if it's behind the screen behind the phone thank you guys so so much i really really do appreciate it I feel like this is exactly why i love being transparent and kind of sharing my life with you guys because i literally don't owe anyone anything and the fact that i do share my life with you guys it does make me feel so so good that you guys actually support it and you guys actually like it because i know a lot of you guys can relate so this is exactly why i do it i love you guys so much and bye i'll see you guys in my next video i'm just kidding i'm just kidding but yes i had a really great morning today i meditated today tomorrow morning we're gonna meditate together so be prepared we are meditating together and i was actually reading some affirmations that i wrote to myself and yeah as of right now i have to get my nails done because i have two events to attend to today and i have eight hours pretty much to get my nails done look for an outfit go to ulta i have to buy some things and then get ready i want to go to the gym as well but i don't know if i'm gonna have time let's see how long my nails take and yeah let's go get these nails done i'm finally back home and i ended up doing my nails like this <laughs> Oh, black. <laughs> it's giving Wednesday. I already know that when Alani sees my nails, she's gonna go, when we? I wanted to do all black. I love, love black nails. I've always been so into it, especially my toes. I have to do my toes black or chocolate brown. Those are the only colors that I'll ever, ever do my toes. But yeah, I am back home. I'm gonna shower. I literally have no time to go to the gym nor look for new outfits. So we're gonna look for a new outfit here at home. And the attire for tonight is all black cocktail attire. And I have nothing like that. I ended up ordering stuff from fashion nova but i forgot to put overnight shipping so my package is not coming today and i had picked out outfits for it tonight so i'm like i'll have to see what i have in my closet i'm still on a time crunch because alani's still with her nanny so i have to hurry up and try to get as much done as i can right now so i'm gonna eat and i'll see you guys later wait but look i wanted to show you guys this my roommate got me this really cute gift for valentine's day it's so cute she got me this basket and then look how cute this is she gave me coupon that say one free babysitter day and it says ohm and baby only mommy can get out of the house and enjoy running errands and alani calls her ohm because her name is emily but she says m or ohm <laughs> she gave me a free cleaning pass and she said that i cannot combine my coupons and it has an expiration date so i need to start using these asap and then she gave me a one free massage day i wonder what this means like are you gonna give me a massage or am i gonna go get a massage some rails and then the last one is <laughs> a gym pass it says that she could watch baby for two hours while i go and enjoy a workout which is so freaking cute she gave me some sandals she gave me a candle some bath bombs and she knows that i love love sleeping with face masks because my room is so bright and i refuse to put curtains in my room because i hate the darkness so she gave me a face mask a headband and then also a cup and then dev and alani's second mama she gave me this for valentine's day with some roses it's so cute it says love and it's actually alani's hand and alani's feet i love this so much and i also got some flowers but we'll save the story time for another time i'm finally out the shower now i'm gonna start getting ready because we got to go i am going to beauty creations and less to makeups collection launch party tonight and then afterwards I, I do have an event to go to but that one's still maybe depending on the time that we leave the first one so i'm actually gonna film it get ready with me for tiktok and i'm gonna show you guys the behind the scenes of how i usually film it but first things first we're gonna shave this off i don't know what it is about my hairline but i hate it so much so i'm always always <laughs> shaving it off like do you guys see how uneven my hairline is like i never touch this but obviously i'm not gonna go all the way back there because my forehead is gonna look like a six head so i just try to get as close as i can to it and i was even thinking about getting it lasered but i'm just like oh, no because what if i regret it i could just keep shaving it off first things first i gotta take my vitamins because i forgot i keep forgetting to take them and miss lovely farah she's actually doing my facials right now and she has recommended me all of these vitamins for my skin because you guys my skin has 
has not gotten any better but i have not been following her rules kind of so i'm like mm, i have to really 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 take care of my skin but let me show you guys the vitamins that i take so one is raw d one is vitamin c the other one is zinc and then the last one is lysine and i'm the worst at taking pills so i always just shove it all the way down in my throat and hope for the best and hope that i don't throw up yeah i can't do vitamins and i would highly highly recommend to never ever take gummy vitamins gummy vitamins are not as effective because our stomachs are too acidic it will burn off the gummies this is why the capsule is there to protect the actual vitamins so it could actually get inside your body and actually sit there don't get mad at me i'm just a messenger <laughs> Okay, but I'm gonna do the last one off camera because I'm crying. <laughs> okay, so I know I'm super close to you guys, but the step that I never ever film on my TikTok Get Ready With Me is my eyebrows. So I actually wanna film it here for YouTube. I wanna show you guys how I slay these brows because I get so many, so many comments about it. And it's just three things that you need. First, I just cleaned up my brows. I tweezed them, I cut them, and I plugged them out, and I shaved them down a little bit. So first things first, I used the Anastasia Gel Brow. I know a lot of people have mixed reviews on it because people say that it leaves you like a white residue, but I think it works pretty good on me so i don't know look as you guys can tell i really really like it this is my old one I actually dried out so i had to go get a new one and then i also picked up a new brush like this so you just kind of need like a spoolie i think that's what they're called and then the last thing that you need is whichever brow pencil that you oh and concealer sorry 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 but whatever brow pencil you use i'm currently using the nyx one but today i actually bought a new one which is the brow micro filling pen by benefit so i actually want to try it and see how it goes hopefully i can still do the same routine and then to clean my brows i'm going to be using the frank your rose concealer let's just jump into it so the first step that i always do i always go in with the anastasia brow freeze i'm gonna do one on camera with you guys and i'm gonna do the other one off camera but i wanted to do the first one so this is what the brow freeze looks like yes we love that it's brand new grab some of this don't grab too much i'm gonna lay these bad boys down i like it when my brows look wet and i know you guys are like why would i do this before or the eyebrow pencil but i promise your eyebrows are going to look fire and then i go ahead and i lay this down like this so you see how my eyebrow already looks fuller without me actually putting in brow pencil that's why i always do this step first because i don't like it when i overfill my eyebrows and my eyebrows look too dark this is giving 2016 2017 makeup tutorial but yes you want to go in with a brush like this and then just grab a concealer that's not too light nor too dark for your skin because if you do it too light it's going to tell that you clean your eyebrows and we're not trying to get that 2016 2017 look clean it up like if you already put your brow pencil and then let's go ahead and blend this in and you guys notice how I use a little bit of product I did not use a lot to the point where I'm able to drag it down to my eyelid because I don't have enough to drag it down on here but that's how you want to do it if you want like a natural bushy cute eyebrow it's not the shape that I would like it to be just yet and I kind of go over the shape once I'm filling in the brow so I'm gonna do the same for the top I did grab a little bit too much product on here but it's okay we're gonna blend it so you notice how right now I have no tell on my eyebrow but we're gonna fix that once we go in with the eyebrow pencil now that i think about it i think i am gonna skip this one because i actually want my brows to look good i don't want to try something new tonight just in case because we are gonna go out somewhere so i'm just gonna go in with the anastasia brow pencil in the shade dark brown i kind of want my eyebrow to look longer and now i just kind of fill it in just a little bit i feel like my eyebrow doesn't need that much filling and right here i kind of mess up the concealer because i do want an end to my brow so i always go back in i don't add any more product i literally just use what's on the brush and like clean it like that do you guys see that like i literally added no product and i just clean it and you can go back in and do it to your desired shape this is how my brow looks like i honestly do not like my eyebrows too too thick nor do i like them too dark so this is how i pretty much leave my eyebrow if you guys end up trying this technique please let me know and let me know how you guys liked it my eyebrows always always end up looking so different i feel like this is my favorite brow i love how this one always ends up looking like versus this one but yeah this is the final look and yeah let's start filming a tiktok get ready with me okay you guys this is another huge part of being a single mom is i actually have to go pick up alani right now from her nanny's house and i'm not done getting ready i'm actually leaving alone for the first time in a very very long time i have not left her side and my sister's actually gonna help me watch alani for tonight and she still isn't here so now i have to go pick her up yeah, i missed her all day i've been running errands i've been doing so much all day today i'm not even done i have no lips right now 
Okay, so I just picked up Alani. My sister is here. I'm in such a rush because I am so, so late. While I get dressed, I'm gonna just leave the top of my hair in rollers. So let me show you guys how I usually do them. I don't ever put my bottom hair in, in rollers. I usually just only do my top. So I grab like pieces like this. And then I always grab my Dyson. And then after that, I'm gonna grab texturing spray. And we're gonna spray are right here and then you want to grab a roller like this sorry girl i'm in a rush i'm just in a rush and then we're gonna just pin it like that and then repeat so i'm finally in my uber and i'm editing my get ready with me that i feel for tiktok right now i'm on my way to meet up evelyn and alondra and i'm just trying to edit but look let me show you guys what outfit i ended up wearing this one right here i know i'm like mm, this girl this is not no damn cocktail attire fit i should have and could have done better but i literally had nothing but i'm like you know what as long as i go and support this launch i think that's amazing and i edit all of my videos on an app called InShots, and i film it with my camera it's literally super easy i'm gonna edit and post this and yeah i'm on the way what are we doing i don't know just look cute we outside we outside This was LCR, so I wouldn't have done that. He Go ahead. He said. <laughs> no, he was like, he said RKO to the camera. <laughs> Crazy. Not like, you really oh thought. Uh, they can't take a, a dark humor joke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Boy, we had a time last night. Good morning. I don't even know what day it is, what time it is. It is the next morning, and we had a very, a very fun night last night. But before I get into all the details, we are gonna meditate. Are you guys ready to meditate? Good morning, get out of bed. Don't get on your phone as soon as you wake up. Try to avoid iPads, laptops, phones. Get up, wash your face, brush your teeth, and then meditate. So that's exactly what we're gonna do right now. Good morning. You see, don't do what she's doing. She's on her laptop. <laughs> The first thing she does in the morning is get on this little laptop that I got her at Target. It's like a little leapfrog one and it's actually so cool. She likes it. It like teaches them like her numbers, her letters and all that. But say hi baby, you just woke up, huh? Press the call button. Hey Google, play meditation music. Google. Hey Google. <laughs> this bitch. Already trying to ruin my morning. Mm-mm. She wanna act br all brand new today.
Kristen. Lonnie wants to help with this one. <laughs> Go. You got it, girl. You got it. That's... Break. Oh my god. Wow. Okay, add them. Can I take this? Hey, me. Okay, add them. We gotta get rid of the extra little eggshells. You wash hands, okay? Maybe you have yolk on me. Don't put yolk on me. Oh, no, maybe. You, let's wash hands and then and then you mix it, okay? You need to buy you a stool. Go. Put a little bit, okay? <laughs> Good job. Here, now mix it. <laughs> it's okay. This is what we're having for breakfast. Oh, baby, have I heard you? What are you having for breakfast? She's having cheese and some eggs. And then I'm having potatoes and some eggs and some oranges that we're gonna eat after we finish eating our food. And yes, I do put ketchup in my eggs. I know a lot of people don't like it, but you guys just need to try it, so good. Okay, I'm actually done eating now. And recently I've been taking my Taste Salud for energy and it's so good. You guys have to try it. They sent me over a bunch of stuff and it's so good. I love it, especially because I go to the gym. So I sometimes use this as my pre-workout it is amazing i look like a whole senora right now but let me tell you guys the tea about yesterday so it was so much fun so we ended up just going to lust <coughs> say baby <laughs> We ended up going to Lester Makeup's and Beauty Creations collaboration launch party. It was so much fun. And then afterwards, we ended up going to KB and Carla's hosting because it was Carla's birthday at the club. And then that was also so much fun seeing everyone and then seeing Carla. She is a freaking doll. And then I finally saw Alondra after months. Like, do you guys know that Alondra and I live three hours away from each other so we don't ever ever see each other? Last time, I can't even remember the last time I saw her besides last night. It's been a very long time. It was fun, girl. It was fun. It was a very much, very much, much needed night out because I've been stuck at home with Lonnie. And you guys, my nanny, Devin, she's actually in Paris for a week and a half for like 10 days. So I'm not gonna have any help with Alani, which is fine. I might just call my sister over if I really, really need to get work done. So she's gonna be coming out a lot in this week in my life. Life video but yes i hope you guys did feel a, a, at least a little better after meditating a little bit if you guys joined or if you guys didn't but if you guys want to try one day even if you guys have kids like i don't know you guys saw but lani ended up joining me because obviously having a kid they need your attention 24 7 so i don't ever finish <laughs> my meditation um, sessions and i only do it for like three to four or five minutes like i don't do it that long like i think five minutes should be good as long as you wake up in a very positive note and a very positive mindset and it really really affects how your day is gonna go and i love that i feel like i have a very mellow just peaceful a day but of course if you guys don't have time for it you guys could come back and do it after work at night whatever works for your schedule i usually i like to do it in the morning because she usually just lays down in bed and watches tv or even sometimes she's still sleeping even throughout like my meditation music so yeah it just depends on how you guys feel on your guys' schedule but yeah you guys are gonna see me full on senora mode because i'm not gonna be able to get out of the house as much i hate running errands with the one by myself i've done it a couple times but i'm like mm, i just don't think it's safe and my family they don't live that close to me and plus all my sisters they have their own kids so it's not like if i could be like hey come over like all of my sisters live like 30 minutes to like 40 minutes away from me so i'm literally in this city where i live by myself i have a no one besides my nanny that's why i stay around the area because i, de I depend on her a lot when i have to work but that's the tea why am i telling y'all i don't know <laughs> but yeah cheers we're gonna drink our energy drink, whatever it is, whatever you guys are waking up to coffee and energy drink some pre-workout i hope you guys have a good day today I would say let's, let's get this bag, but I'm gonna be at home doing nothing because I have her. <laughs> but let's get this YouTube bag and then I'm gonna finish up my oranges. Baby, you want orange? It's good. You guys, I literally just received the package that I was supposed to receive yesterday. And let me show you guys what I was supposed to wear for the cocktail party because 
People were dragging me on TikTok. So I was gonna wear this cute dress. Look at how cute this dress is. It's like a super long, classy black dress. Look at how pretty this dress is. It would have looked so cute. Look at how long it is. It's super long and look at the back. The back is kind of like a open detail. Oh, like only if I got my package yesterday, I could have worn this. It's so cute. So now I have an extra dress. I could wear it for a date night. If somebody asks me on a day because these boys nowadays are so damn pussies I feel like this generation the girls are the ones who are doing the moves and the boys are like pussies I'm just kidding <laughs> But yeah, I was gonna wear this dress with these heels that I also got from Fashion Nova Okay, I had to try it on look at how cute this dress would have been Look at the back like it's so cute, I'm so sad. And I even tried it on with the heels that I was gonna wear. Look, forget this, <laughs> just pretend this isn't here. I feel like it was the perfect dress because look at how long it is. Oh my goodness, the heel is so cute. Me trying to break in my heels. More? Okay. Baby's turn. One, two, three. <laughs> and I don't even want to hear about the Christmas tree. I know it's February and I still have my Christmas tree. I'm not late on throwing it away. I'm just early for this year, girl. Heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. Baby's turn. Heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. You are so beautiful. Good job, my baby. Telling y'all, y'all better come up here and start meditating because my spirit and like the vibe of my house, the vibe with myself, with the Lani, it just enlightens and it just, we're just really positive throughout the day. Like, we out here dancing, we out here sweating, I'm tired. <laughs> Hi guys. We came to the grocery store with my roommate Emily and she fell asleep. So I'm currently in the car and I told Em, if you want, just go inside and go grocery shopping first because I, I refuse to wake her up because I feel like if I do wake her up, it's going to be like tantrum city in there. So I'm like, mm, yeah, no thanks. I'm not doing that. So I told Em to go inside and we can switch places if she doesn't wake up because one thing I learned from being a mom is that you never wake up a sleeping toddler. So I'm in the car waiting while my roommate grocery shops and I'm, I'm going to go in right after. So this is, <laughs> this is literally a mom. Like I literally have to work around her schedule and her time. I'm eating hot fries, just chilling, waiting. <laughs> Hi, my baby. Hi. You want to go inside the store? He's so good. Look, we already got some stuff. Which made me open these. Okay, we are back home. So let me show you guys what I got from Trader Joe's. Let's do another Trader Joe's haul. I got a lot of stuff this week because, like I told you guys, I don't have Lonnie's nanny this entire week. So we're going to be stuck at home. So first things first, I got some eggs. We actually found some. Sometimes when we go, we don't find any. So we got lucky. I got two ground turkeys. Mommy, I mommy, usually. Mommy. Come here, come say hi. I usually make them with either pasta or just like regular with like white rice. And then we got this chocolate for little Miss Pablito over here. You want to carry it? And then I got these protein bars. So I've actually been eating these protein bars from Trader Joe's and they're actually really good. I got them in two flavors. They're pretty expensive though. I think they're almost like $3 each. I was just, oh, I was racist, I was right. I don't want to show it because I don't want it. We got... 
<laughs> Look, you you want to you want to here? I'll bend down with you so you could do your little haul, okay? We got some raspberries I for Alani. My all-time favorite salmon. We usually eat this with bagels and cream cheese. It's so good. You guys need to try. It. I get the pastrami one. Some turkey bacon, the chicken soup dumplings. I've had these before a long time ago and they were a okay, but I want to give them another try. Oh, strawberries? Here. We got some cranberry juice. And then mine and Eli's favorite frozen dessert from Trader Joe's. The covered chocolate bananas. <laughs> Show them what you got. Here, show them these chips. We got some mini bananas for Alani. Some limones. Alani's favorite fruits. Some watermelon. And then this for Alani. Some corn. She loves her some corn. Little hillbilly, come here. Some strawberries. And then Alani's favorite cheese, which are these string cheese. Yeah. I know it's so bad, but she can literally eat this entire bag in like two or three days. We got some Persian cucumbers, some small no, ones. I have yet to uh, give these to Alani, but she actually eats these at Devin's house and she loves them. So I wanted to see if she'll eat them here with me. We got some bell pepper, of course, some baby spinach. I got myself some coconut water. And then I got these chicken nuggets from Alani because she loves McDonald's chicken nuggets. Uh, next time she asks me for chicken nuggets, I'm gonna just make her these. I got some mushrooms mushrooms and some cilantro salsa paste from Trader Joe's. It is so good. And then we eat them with these chips right here. It's so fire. And then I needed more pasta, so I got more, myself some more pasta and then some broccoli to roast. Ever since I've done like ads for like HelloFresh, I always, always roast my broccoli now and I saute them exactly how they say to saute them and it's so good. Some bagels, some cream cheese, a lot of fruit. She usually is the one who eats all the fruit. Um, I got her some blackberries, some mozzarella cheese, for some pasta and then Trader Joe's have already made chicken I have to just like heat it up or like put it in the microwave or put it like, on a skillet and just heat it up and it's so good I always get to the lemon pepper one but this time I actually wanted to try a new one this one's the grilled balsamic a balsamic a vinegar and rosemary one so we're gonna try these and then I get these like I think they're like oat beverages with pea protein for my protein shakes so this is what I put on my protein shakes instead of like any other type of milk or water and last but not least what I'm actually making for dinner tonight i found this spicy pasta sauce and i needed to try it so i'm gonna make a pasta with this sauce with like ground turkey and we're gonna try it i'm actually gonna show you guys how i'm gonna cook my dinner tonight and right now i do have some sweet potato roasting in the oven because we're gonna eat that with the, the pasta and i didn't record how i saute them but i i just put um olive oil a little bit of garlic and a little bit of himalayan sauce i don't know how to say it but let me show you guys the one i use it's this one right here, this one's also from Trader Joe's. So I just put a little bit of this one and yeah, we're gonna see how they taste. Okay, so these are the ingredients that I'm gonna use tonight to cook my pasta. Right now I'm gonna start boiling the pasta first and then I'm gonna have the ground turkey cooking while this is boiling. And I just took out to the sweet potato. So I should have maybe made a little bit, but I did roast these for 25 minutes and I preheated the oven on 450. Okay, so right now I do have the pasta boiling and right now I'm gonna season it in my ground turkey. So I use this pan. Pepper. Yeah, baby. Good job. Okay, now go do a doggy. Where's the doggy? Go. Play. Look, doggy. <laughs> Me trying to distract her. I'm gonna go to your dog with today, girl. And then I use onion powder. And after I smush everything up together, I wait for the ground turkey to cook a little bit. I double season it. So I season it this one time and then I'm gonna season it again later. And then we're gonna go in with some salt again. And then I use two types of garlic powder because I love garlic powder. So I use this one. And then we're gonna use this one. And I forgot to buy onions. So when you grow onions before this, it tastes so good and it gives it more flavor. I totally forgot to buy some, so don't forget your onions like I did. And then we're gonna squish, 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 squish. So it's cooked a little bit more now, so I'm gonna go ahead and season everything again. And then right now, I'm gonna add in some chicken broth. This is also from Trader Joe's.
And here is the final product. So I have the pasta, the sweet potato, and then some cucumbers. And then I have Alani's right here. And I'm gonna separate her sweet potato. Bon appetit. Mmm. Oh. No, it's good. <laughs> Guys, my roommate Emily is at the gym and I really want to go to the gym, so I think I'm gonna go, but I'm gonna take Alani with me. Okay, I'm being dead ass. I think I'm gonna go to the gym. So I already have a gym sweater, I have my commerce on, I'm ready to go. I'm gonna just Oh my god, this is what it's like having a toddler. Why is there candy fries inside of my dresser? Okay. So I'm gonna just throw on some pink workout leggings and I'm gonna drink a little bit of Tay Salud just so I can get a little bit more energized. I'm taking you to the gym, girl. You wanna go to the gym with me? She's like, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna take it with me. I'll be right back. Come here. Okay, I put in my contacts and I just threw on my pink gym workout leggings. You wanna wear those? Yeah. Okay, come on. Oh, my eyes are so dry. And I just changed Aloni's diaper, so I'm gonna just throw on a jacket and some shoes. Come on. Okay, I put them on, I put them on. Come on, come on. Arms in the gym, you wanna see arms? <laughs> it's cold outside, so we gotta put this on, okay? I just wanna, you know, I just wanna do a little bit of workouts. I wanna do at least three workouts, three sets, something quick, something fast. I missed my gym today. I always, always start my gym days on Monday. Here we go. Oh, you okay? You're burping a lot. Oh, is that Aoi? It's cause you drink a lot of awa today, baby. No more awa, okay? Okay, look, show them your jacket. You're full, huh? Look at this big old belly. You got the hiccups? Uh-uh. Okay. Today, I'm actually doing lower body, I mean, upper body, because I don't know I want to waste my lower body day. Because <laughs> I don't know how much is in the last. Count one. And then go two. Two. Yeah. something i just got out of the shower i got her ready for bed and after that little gym workout she got so tired i'm gonna take advantage that she's asleep and i'm gonna start studying i'm so studying to get my life insurance license so i'm gonna study until i fall asleep so i will see you guys tomorrow don't forget to meditate tomorrow let's start a brand new day tomorrow with a positive mindset tell yourself that you guys love each other Tell yourself money is obsessed with you. Tell yourself that every single day is enough. Keep pushing yourself every single day. 2023 is the year to aspire and inspire. I love you guys and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Good morning, you guys. I have been up for hours now. Alani is just waking up because I woke her up. I was doing my little morning routine. And then this morning, I actually decided to do my hair mask because it's wash day for my hair. But I want to show you guys. I actually just started using this. I've been using their hair serum for, I want to say, like a month now. But it's my first day using their hair mask. So it's the Miel. I think that's how you pronounce it. It looks like it. It's the Miel Rosemary Mint Strengthening Hair Mask. And also, they have a hair serum that looks like this. It just smells super super clean but as you guys know i'm giving my hair a break from extensions because i used to have extensions i kid you not from the age of 18 19 and i never ever took them off i would always reinstall them i've done k-tips i've done tapins i've done wefts i've done sew-ins i've done clip-ins i never ever took off my extensions up until last year I don't even remember when did I finally take them off, but it's been months. I want to say it's been five to six months since I've had a break from hair extensions, and it's been um, 
amazing i feel like my hair really needed that braid because i was giving my scalp so much tension i was getting a lot of hair loss and it was a mess girl it was a mess but i'm actually really proud of myself because i feel like i've been doing so good at not putting my extensions back on i just really been trying to give my hair a break and my hair has been growing you guys look at how long my hair looks I don't know if you guys could see, but bitch. My hair has been growing amazing ever since I took off my extensions. And I honestly, I have not been using that many products. The only products that I've been using is the drops. And it's my first day using the mask. So I'm going to just pit up my hair and let it sit for like 30 minutes. And I'll probably get in the shower afterwards. But my hair growth is literally just from not having extensions. So if you guys are trying to grow your hair, I would highly, highly recommend. I just started doing the drops a month ago. And I, I feel like I can't really see much of a difference yet. But you shall see. I hope you guys did meditate this morning. If you guys haven't, do it at night or do it whenever you guys can. It literally takes 5 to 10 minutes. I promise you, your day will go amazing. Even when I receive bad news because that's what life is. Life is not all about good news and smiles and shit. So even when I receive like bad news or something that like, I'm like, oh great God. Why me again? Like... I just feel like I take it more calmly and more mellow and I'm just like, okay, like, I got this. I know how to handle this without actually, you know, stressing myself out, making myself go crazy, so don't forget to meditate. Let's have a good day today. My room's a mess. Yes, 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 I know. <laughs> I have to uh, fold my laundry, but I introduced Alani to the cha-cha slide yesterday and she wants to listen to it again. This morning, look, she up, she up. She up and ready to dance, so let's start off this day by dancing. Ready, baby? having a amazing morning i'm gonna start off by making an omelet i'm gonna make it Mommy. with mushrooms Mommy. <laughs> yes baby oh it's me it's so pretty huh baby i'm gonna make it with mushrooms baby spinach and also some bell pepper and for alani i'm gonna just make her some egg because she's really picky and then she's gonna eat it with white rice and then she's gonna eat some strawberries i want to say that's probably like her favorite favorite morning meal it's white rice with egg she loves white rice and egg and i'm also make her turkey bacon because she loves it so that's what she's gonna have for breakfast let's make some breakfast shall we You guys have no idea what just happened to us. Um, I was trying to take Alani out. I always, always take her out. Just to like random places. And then my car's a bad... Go, go. Oh, I follow you? Okay. Come on. Let's go. Wee. Good Mom job. Cheat. Mommy's turn. Okay, I go. Let me cheat my way over here. Let's see. Yeah, look. Ready? Ma it's Mommy's turn. Oh my God, I'm so tired. I'm so tired for this. One, two, three. <laughs> but um yes my battery for my car was completely dead i don't know if i left the light on overnight i had to call roadside assistance and we waited for an hour for them to come and for them to replace it so it was just a mess it was a mess but we made it we made it to be out here this place that we come to it's so freaking nice this is what it's called screenshot if you guys want to take your kids here but they have like the cutest little like miniature rooms hello hi <laughs> Alani loves coming to places like this But it's so cute So this one's like a little market And it has like its own little register This is our second time being here And it's actually really cute Can we? Okay, follow you It has like its own little fire station Police department This one's a hair salon Here, you wanna do my hair? 
Oh, can I do your hair? <laughs> Ooh, she she needs a little work. Uh -huh. Do mommy's hair like this, baby? No, I'm not shaved. Okay, we do her hair. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I did I mean. Oh, okay. You need to start telling yourself that. <laughs> She's telling the lie. You see, I've done owie. You see, baby, when I comb your hair, I've done owie. Hello. It's a little cafe. Wow. Not the fish on the floor. Who's fishy is pussy? <laughs> What's this, baby? Nom, 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 say fish. Fish. Can you say uh, pescado? Ow. Baby, say pescado. <laughs> baby, look. Go, 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 go. Wow, <laughs> this is so cute. They got popcorn. Where's the control? Is it touch screen? No. It's not touch screen. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> Baby, let's see how tall you are. Stand right here. Stand right here. Stand like this, like this. Right here. Oh, and last time I posted them, we were here. A lot of you guys were on Instagram were asking me why they gave us these big old stickers. But it's because they won't let the kid leave with anyone that doesn't have the exact matching stickers. So I have mine right here. <laughs> Can I have a bag, please? No? <laughs> Nana, you found the Nana. You guys, we just got ready for bed. Emily has been sleeping with us because. Hi guys, good morning. It is the next day. I couldn't really talk to you guys last night because Emily has been sleeping with us because our heater doesn't work. So we have a portable heater inside of my room and we just light up some candles and we make them super, super warm. But it was just so funny because Alani and I were having those moments where like we're supposed to be serious, but we couldn't. We were just cracking up the whole night. It was funny, it, it was funny, it was funny. But yes, Alani was up so late. She still is up super late. Obviously when she would go back and forth with me and her dad, she would go to sleep super, super late over there. Like I wanna say two or 3 a.m. And every time she would come back to me, I would try to reverse that, but then it would go back to the same schedule. So now I'm trying to like undo all of that and fix her sleeping schedule. My goal is to have her in bed by nine or 10, the latest. And right now we're at midnight. So I've brought it down all the way to midnight. And it's actually a lot harder than I thought because because there's times where I've actually put her down around 11 or I want to say 10. But then she thinks that she's just napping. So she gets up at 3 or 4 and she's just up for hours. And I'm like, oh my goodness. But yes, right now I'm currently cooking breakfast. Alani actually, she caught me sneaking out of the room. But right now she's so cranky because I woke up earlier than what she usually wakes up. So she's just watching TV. And yeah, I don't know what we're going to do today. We're just going to chill at home. One of my mom's friends is actually going to come help me clean the house. Because the house is super, super dirty. And I'm telling you guys, this is why I love my mom and my family. Because 
because if they see someone struggling in the family they'll try to help so i don't know what alana and i are gonna do it's actually raining outside so i can't even take her anywhere today so yeah let's see what we get into <laughs> when i was filming the intro earlier i was just like why can't i see anything but i wasn't wearing my glasses and you guys i am like legally blind like my vision is so bad that like, i cannot see without my contacts or my glasses i need to get late to guy surgery soon well hopefully 2023 when i find the time for it but anyways i want to show you guys my breakfast i'm actually having the same thing that i had yesterday i'm having like my eggs i tried making the omelet but i need to buy new sticky pants because my omelet just kept getting stuck to the pan so i was like whatever so i made it into scrambled eggs literally the same thing yes yesterday besides the bagel instead of having an avocado because my avocados are finally ready they were super hard but yeah it's literally spinach mushrooms bell peppers eggs and some turkey bacon and alana's gonna have the same thing as well Someone challenged me to do the Rihanna Super Bowl dance, so it's on Donkey Kong. We're gonna do it. I don't have a complete full white outfit, so I'm gonna just wear what I'm wearing right now. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't break my ankles. <laughs> oh, I love you so much. She's just so precious. Look how pretty she is. And Alani and I, we lounge in pajamas 24 7 because people always, always come to me that she's wearing pajamas, but I'm like, I do too. <laughs> Unless we go out, that's when I get her dressed up. But other than that, if we're at home, we're just gonna be in pajamas all day. I found these glasses. Okay, let's practice, let's practice. So I wanna do the one that, the one where they crawl on the floor, and then they go. <laughs> it kinda has to be like a one take thing because I'm responding back to a comment on TikTok. So let's see how I can do it. I'm gonna wear my gym shoes for this. Okay, let's see how many tries it takes me for me to do it. Anymore. I'm sweating. I probably tried it like five times. I'm not a dancer. This is who I give props to all dancers because I can't do it. I'm so, I'm really like sweating. <laughs> but I'm gonna post it on my TikTok right now. So if you guys wanna go see it, go check out my TikTok. Funny because now Lonnie's doing TikToks. Look. <laughs> like mommy, like daughter. Look at her. <laughs> I freaking love how much she just like loves hanging out with me. You guys, look at how Lonnie's putting herself in this TikTok. <laughs> she put a filter that has makeup on. Where is she? Look, shut up, baby. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, you're so pretty. Oh my goodness. You are so beautiful. I like it. You guys, she freaked out. She hates it so much when I sing to her. She doesn't like my voice. Go. That's pretty. That's pretty. Picture. That look pretty? Yeah, Baby's turn. <laughs> Baby's turn. It's picture. Say cheese. Woo! <laughs> okay, you uh -huh. Oh, you're such a big girl now, huh? Okay, do sad. Do happy. <laughs> do angry. <laughs> Came to get my hair done with that. I'm finally putting back my extensions on. I've been giving my hair a break from extensions for months now, but I'm actually going back. And now we're putting on, are there 26? 26 inches. Can I see them really quick? Look at how long these are. It's my first time ever getting these done. I remember my life had long hair like this. guys so it is weeks after i honestly was not even gonna post this week in my life video but i was you know what i think this is a perfect way to end this video so let's talk about it i wanted to talk about something that i recently posted on my instagram reels one thing about me you guys i do not mind the confrontation i don't mind communicating i do not mind any sort of feedback negative positive i don't mind it at all i think i've gone through so much in my life that i built such a really really tough shell and i have really really thick skin when it comes to constructive criticism 
a feedback, any sort of judgment. I am the person that I know how to take it in. I know how to grasp it. I know how to let it make me feel what it's making me feel. Like for example, if someone is telling me something that I'm upset about, I'm gonna make sure that I feel upset about it. I'm gonna make sure that I feel angry about it. I'm gonna make sure that I feel offended by it. I'm very aligned with my feelings with and with my emotions and I know how to make myself feel and then let go. And yeah, I just wanna do a quick, quick backstory. If you guys are new to my channel, I am 26 years old. I have a two year old daughter. I I am a single mom. I do TikTok. I do Instagram. I do everything that you can possibly think about when it comes to social media, but I do want to backtrack just a little. I grew up in South LA. Now it's called South LA. Back then it was called the South Central. I got my first serious job when I was like 17. I was working at Fashion Nova and I was doing their social media marketing. And this is where my whole life pretty much changed. I grew such a huge passion for social media. Like I would miss school because of this. I would miss school because of work because I really love doing social media, especially when anything that has to do with with outfits old trees i just grew such a huge passion for it and i still love 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 it and throughout the process me and my family we grew a business called old tree fash it's a clothing business that we are so grateful and we thank god every single day that it's still running and as the years went by i ended up doing a youtube channel with my best friend alondra and i instantly came so passionate about youtube and passionate about making content making funny videos i'm sharing our lives it was just everything and i love it and to this day i still love it fast forward to more recent times i ended up getting pregnant with my two-year-old i ended up creating my own personal channel and i started creating content there mommy content daily lifestyles i do my week in my life videos as you guys can see this is another week in my life video and now to today i've been posting that i've been studying to get my life insurance license and for that i do have to take a california state exam in order for me to be licensed for this and this is why i'm here making this video so i actually was introduced to this company i want to say years ago i was introduced by this by a friend who is also in the business i want to say before i got pregnant i think i met my coach mario and franny when i was pregnant actually but i was hiding my pregnancy i was like two three months pregnant when i actually first started attending these events and i took a really long break from it because i got pregnant you know i had a newborn so i completely like put that to the side i never went back to it you know i continued doing my social media stuff my youtube videos and all that and then i recently started to get more intrigued with it i want to say a couple months ago um i started studying for it i went back to take my classes again i actually took my classes twice the first time was prior my pregnancy and then a little bit over i want to say three four months ago i took my classes again and a lot of people had a lot to say about it and i just wanted to say like this is something that i'm doing for myself this is something that i want to succeed in life you know this is something that i've actually just caught so much interest in it ever since i've been doing my classes with it ever since that i've been you know on my study halls it's just something that i've learned a lot about and a lot of people have educated me about it and i've just been so interested in it and i'm actually starting to take a lot more serious than it was two years ago and i posted this reel that had a lot of people talking a lot of people talking a negative about it and i just wanted to answer a few questions and just kind of speak about it because one thing about me i am not afraid of confrontation as you guys know a couple videos on my youtube channel i said oh i'm gonna start an of and i'm not afraid to do it I did start an OF, I am still currently doing it, and I'm not afraid to say this. <laughs> like I said, I am not afraid to put my feet in whatever water it is that is given to me, that is presented to me, that I am more than grateful and blessed enough to have it in my face and to have access to it. Nowadays, we have access to all sorts of things and we have access to make income in so many ways. So me being the courageous and independent and strong woman that I am, I'm gonna try whatever that is presented to me and see if I like it. And if I don't like it, then I'm not gonna continue it. And it has happened previously. I've tried doing other hobbies that I wasn't really interested in. And real estate, for example, I've looked into that and I was just like, oh, it's something that I'm not really interested in. So I didn't proceed with it. So one of the biggest feedback that a lot of people have to say about it was that the company that i'm currently trying to get my um my license for is a scam and let me just make something really really crystal clear for you guys scamming is illegal you cannot scam in the state of california or in any other state you would do some time for the crime like you cannot scam people the company that i'm trying to get my license for it is primerica and there is i want to say 25 percent of bad reviews 75 percent good reviews and i'm just that type of people that i'm going to get to know a company before i even put my foot in and i've learned and i've been educated so much about this company and the good things that this company has done for people and you guys will be so surprised at how many celebrities are actually insured with this company but obviously people don't walk around saying oh i have life insurance i have life insurance me and my daughter actually 
actually insured with life insurance however i don't see why anyone should not have a life insurance i think life insurance is extremely important a lot of the rich people a lot of business owners a lot of real estate agents a lot of brokers a lot of life insurance agents a lot of really really successful people have life insurance i don't know a single multi-millionaire person that i've met who does not have life insurance people even have life insurance for example on their hands on their nose on their feet anything and everything that they can get insurance on they have insurance on for example since i am a social media content creator i can get insurance on my camera and i'm not talking about just typical best buy insurance where you go get warranty for it no i can actually insure all of my equipment just in case anything happens my computer my macbook my ipads and my phones i can go to a business and say hey i want insurance on all of my equipment just in case one day somebody decides to rob all of my equipment i am covered for that people can get insurance for absolutely anything and everything and when i first was presented with this company i was just like you guys i was just like this seems like a scam this seems like a pyramid scheme this seems out of the ordinary like are you sure people do this like how does this even work and then i have spoken to a lot of people who are a lot older than me i want to say 30 years old 40 years old 50 years old a lot of people who are more educated than me a lot of people who are way wealthier than me way more than i could ever imagine that people could be wealthy of i'm talking about hundreds of millions of dollars like it is insane how i've been so blessed enough to have the opportunity to have these people even in front of my face because a lot of people don't have access to coaches to therapists to mentors to attorneys so i can sit here and say that i am so grateful that i have my attorneys i have my life coach i have my finance advisor i have my credit repair people i literally have everything that you could possibly think of i try to take care of everything because i have a baby a girl so i want to make sure that i know what i'm doing with my money i know how to take care of my credit i know what i'm doing with my investments i know what i'm doing with my health insurance i literally i am just so grateful because i cannot emphasize enough that having all of this is extremely important you guys and i know that people don't have the leverage for it they don't have the finance for it and this is exactly why people join this company to share this information for free i'm not asking you guys for a single dollar it's not a subscription that you guys are signing up to this is something that is only going to benefit you and your family and your future and i'm going to emphasize your future when i first was questioning if it was a scam if it was a premium scheme i went out of my way and did my own research and i saw what this company offers you know i also read the positive and the good reviews and i was just okay so why are people calling it a scam why are people calling it a scheme and all of this and i was just like oh that's interesting it almost sounds like a lot of people who are saying the negative things about this company are very close-minded and are not educated on how it is this company has been rated top 10 of life insurance companies by forbes and that's something that you guys just cannot take lightly um no company that's a scammy or a scheme can have really good ratings like that and for legal reasons i cannot say personal names but a lot of big time rappers that we love and we listen to every single day are either working with this company or they are asking my coach which is mario to be their financial advisor when i'm around this area and you know environment i obviously being a social media content creator the first thing i want to do is pull out my camera and you know show you guys like the people that are in this business and the people that are insured with this business but for legal reasons i can't because these are top name celebrities just think of name of the first person that you th that you think of when it comes to rap oh wait and if it's the same person that we're thinking about then that should tell you everything and i know a lot of people have been saying oh you know like it's very time consuming that yes you make money out of it but you know it's a lot of work and yes you are absolutely right it is time consuming it is a lot of work because that is what a job is required to do we don't work for free we live in a very very rich and wealthy country united states we are one of the richest countries in the entire world or just we are one of them like we are surrounded by so much money and wealth that we don't know what to do with it this is why i emphasize like we need to get educated on how we can invest our money create a wealth for our kids for the future like i've learned how the richer gets richer and i don't want to downplay my people because i love being hispanic and i'm very 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 passionate about where i come from it's proven that the numbers are there 
our own people our own kind we struggle financially we are asking the government for help and i've been there i've been fed by the government for years we were on ebt on section a all of that and i'm actually super grateful for it because it's helped my family a lot so we would have not been fed when we were when we were kids because of it but a lot of latinos and hispanics we don't know how to generate money and how to create a wealth for our kids because we are so close-minded and it sucks to say but it's the truth and we are so judgmental with our own people and i hate that i hate seeing that especially women to women like i hate that our own people we put down our own people like do you guys see how everyone's putting down bad bunny right now like that's a prime example i have nothing against men but in this country men love when women and women hate each other and they just love pinning women against each other the older i get the more i read the more i'm surrounded by older people the more i'm on social media the more i see influencers who are living their best happy life unbothered the more i'm like life is actually so beautiful if you make it that way if you just walk freely with an open mind and you just try new things try new things for yourself i am going to continue to try to get my license for life insurance and i'm going to continue to do it because i know the company that i'm with this company is not a scam it's not a fraud it's not a scheme it is a company that has helped thousands of families and they have paid out policies to people who unfortunately one of their family members have passed away and they were insured with this company and they have paid them out for it and they don't have to go out there and try to do car washes for people go fund me pages for people and i just really hope that i can educate you guys on that as well if you guys let me if you guys are even interested in it i can go more into depth with these kind of videos i just want to inspire people especially because you guys i am a cheese baby i am a government baby i am a gutter baby until the day i die i'm gonna always be so proud and have a lot of pride and joy in that because i've come so long and seeing the comments on how a lot of people are calling me a scammer that you guys are saying that I'm trying to take money from people. Like, it mind blows me because I'm like, do not let close-minded people educate you on the wrong things. If the work isn't being done, the results are not going to be there. You know, if the courage isn't there, the steps are not going to be there to get where you want to be. Whether it's a broker, whether it's a real estate agent, whether it's a life insurance agent, whether it's an athlete, whether it's a singer, whether it's you playing in a band, it can be anything, whether it's an author, whether it's an influencer, whatever it is that you guys want to do, do it. Don't let people stop you. Don't let negative comments stop you. Do not let close-minded people take control of your future. I cannot emphasize this enough. When I first started YouTube, I got so much shit about it, especially from people from my hometown because I've always grown up saying, oh, I, I want to get into the medical field. I've always had such a huge love and passion for nurses, for doctors, for the hospital in general. Like if I wake up one day and decide to change my entire career and say, you know what? I don't want to do social media anymore. I want to go back to school and get my nursing degree or be the pediatrician that I've always dreamed and wanted to be. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Like I am not going to let a single person stop me from doing what I want to do. I have got so much interest in life insurance. And also after I get my license for my life insurance, I want to get my license for my securities and investments. So that's a whole other category that i want to put my foot into and i'm still gonna do it whether people like it or not i hope that i can push you guys to do whatever it is that you guys want to do and i also encourage people to do their research don't listen to other people if people came out of this company saying oh it was a scam it didn't work for me you know they overwork you they like no you create your own business with this you create your own team with this if it was never created then if there was the work wasn't done nothing was finished you started but it never finished which is perfectly fine if you found no interest in this and then you have every right to leave and to pursue whatever it is that your mind and your heart tells you even with me i always tell myself this all the time say i'm two years into the business and i'm like you know what like it's just not here anymore i don't love it anymore i'm you know i'm starting to lose interest in it i'm gonna leave i'm not gonna stay there i am 26 years old i'm so young i have a whole life ahead of me this does not have to be my life social media also doesn't have to be my life but i love social media i probably love social media as much as i love alani <laughs> no i'm kidding i love alani so much i love him more than anything in this world but it's close to that that's how much i love doing youtube videos i love creating content i love posting my real authentic life 
the good, the bad, the everything. Even though people tell me sometimes, oh, you overshare. Like, I'm still going to continue to overshare because according to you, it's oversharing. But to me, I'm helping others and to hundreds of other people, they're relating to me. So... I just wanted to end this video by saying please educate yourself, please do not discourage other people. Even if you don't like this company, then that is perfectly fine. You don't have to join this company. You can pursue whatever it is that your heart wants you to do and I am all here for it. Even with OF, a lot of people had a lot to say when I started it. Am I gonna let that stop me from doing it? No. I know what I post on there. I'm extremely careful with what I post on there. But let me tell you guys something. I read a lot of fucking books and I'm constantly sharing new books on my IG stories all the time. And the one thing that I've learned about business and money is that the more sources of income that you can have take it whether it's selling lashes online whether it's selling kids toys whether it's selling shoes whether it's selling clothes you're doing life insurance you're doing of whatever source of income that you can take and you can handle do it i would highly recommend try to get as much income sources as you can especially because you're young your hands are working your feet are working your brain is working your mouth is working you're able to communicate with people you're able to pick up a camera today and help others make income in all sorts of industries i feel like i sound so annoying but we are so privileged to have so many sources of income so if i want to do life insurance on the side i'm going to do that on the side i'm going to continue to do it because not a single person can stop me unless it's me and my heart and my brain these two things are the only thing that's going to stop me from doing it you guys the company it would not be a company if it was a scam or if it was illegal moral of the story you guys do whatever your heart pleases don't let negative comments discourage you i'm still going to do what i want today tomorrow yesterday last month next month I'm still gonna do it. If tomorrow I decide to be a doctor, I'm gonna go and try to be a doctor. I'm gonna go back to school and try to be a doctor. If I decide to run for president, I'm gonna go and run for president. I'm gonna do whatever my heart pleases, okay? And I really, really encourage you guys to do the same. Don't let anyone judge you. I'm not judging you. I am pushing you. I am encouraging you. I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna tell you guys to keep going. Like my mom always tells me, ponte las pilas. Keep going. You can do it. Do it for your family, do it for your kids, whatever it is that you are trying to pursue, do it. Break cycles in your family. Be the first person to make $10,000 in your family, 100K, whatever it is, half a million, a million. Do it with whatever it is that you're doing. All I can encourage people to do is in the process, don't harm other people, don't judge other people, don't give up. And mainly this is the one that I really emphasize. Don't beat yourself up for it, especially if you're not seeing results in the next week in the next month give it some time be patient with it if it's something that you really really enjoy doing you're gonna see results because you're putting your heart and your passion into it i promise you just like social media for me i love social media so much that i was able to build a career off of it and it's because of you guys i'm here to help you too i'm here to tell you just do whatever it is that your heart pleases don't let the negativity discourage you if you feel like you need a break from social media or if you, if you feel like you need to call off one day from work do it go go and reset go outside take your kids out out for a walk take yourself on a walk take your dog on a walk whatever it is that you feel like you guys have to do to reset do it we are not a robot so we don't have manuals in us to shut off and turn on our feelings unfortunately we do have to feel whatever it is that we're feeling we do have to feel every single emotion that our body our heart and our mind tells us to feel we have to feel it as much as we want to neglect it and avoid it your inner child will thank you later once you go back and feel what you're actually feeling, just let yourself be free. If you're mad, go ahead, be mad. If you're bothered by some comments, let it bother you. Literally just grasp it all and just be like, wow, that comment actually made me kind of upset. And just, okay, I'm going to be upset for a couple hours, you know. I'm going to let myself feel this emotion. I'm going to kind of stay away from people because I don't want to dump my emotions onto other people. I don't want to be mean to people. So I'm going to just back off, give myself a breather and come back whenever i'm ready just do it so yes i'm here to remind you guys that you can do whatever it is that your heart desires to do and if you don't have anyone supporting you you have one person here supporting you i am here rooting for you i'm here trying to encourage you to do whatever it is don't let other people's opinions stop you because they are not going to build your future for you they're not going to build your career for you they're not going to build any of that only you are you are a one woman show you are a one man show whether you are a man or a woman watching this you are a one woman, one man 
show so yeah i felt like it was very needed for us to sit and for me to kind of reflect on all of the negativity that we were posting on my instagram and i love you guys so much like i cannot emphasize this enough i always tell my mom i'm like i can't believe i'm on social media like till this day you guys still give me butterflies you guys still amaze me even though i've been on social media for about four years it amazes me every single day that i get to do this for a living whether it's words of encouragement or anything whether it's me helping you guys about things that i've learned in court throughout you know throughout the process i'm grateful for it all i am so so grateful and that, that's all i have to say for this video i love you guys so so much if today isn't your day tomorrow is i'll see you guys on my next youtube video bye